This is the third time Justice Kalpana Rawal has had to defer the taking of witness statements from security chiefs whose evidence the ICC prosecutor considers crucial in the cases he intends to lodge against five prominent Kenyans and a radio journalist he deems to have borne the greatest responsibility for the 2007-2008 post-poll chaos in Kenya. Lawyers representing the security chiefs had written to ICC and Kenya's High Court requesting for assurance that the evidence adduced by their clients will not be used against them. It's a competent jurisdiction, so I have, in deference to the moment, I have decided, and it is a justified, uh, justified um, decision. Because we don't want to waste the public money and everything for any other reason. The officers who have been summoned to give evidence include former Coast Provincial Police Commissioner King Ori Mwangi, who is now at the police headquarters, former Nyanza PPO Grace Kaindi, also currently at Vigilance House, former Central PPO Philip Ndegwa, and former Nairobi PPO Njue Njagi. Others are former Provincial Commissioner Hassan Nur Hassan, James Oweru, Ernest Muni, Abdul Mosera, and Paul Orlando. The security chiefs have balked at the idea of giving statements that may incriminate their superiors at the height of the post-election violence. However, Lands Minister James Orengo says the information before the pre-trial chamber was sourced from the National Intelligence Service. So if anybody has got any complaints about being in that list, their complaint should be with the National Intelligence. Meanwhile, civil society groups say they are ready to lobby other African countries through the African Union to ban the country from pulling out of the Rome statue that created the ICC, citing Parliament's move to pass a motion calling on the government to withdraw from the ICC with the aim of shielding the Ocampo 6. We are going to collect our million signatures. We are also not going to pull out of ICC. We shall also work with other citizens across Africa to make our position known at the upcoming AU meeting. The civil society also added its voice to the debate on whether or not the government should cater for legal fees for two of its civil servants who made it into the Ocampo list. Head of Public Service Francis Mdaura and former police commissioner and current postmaster general Hussein Ali. So we do not understand why the Kenyan <coughs> government is going out of its way to use citizens' money, citizens of Kenyans who are in pain to, you know, <coughs> to support people who, should, who are already supported by the Hague. So it's actually maybe another way of corruption. Efforts to form a local tribunal have in the past proven unsuccessful, but proponents of such a move are still pegging their hopes on ongoing reforms in the judiciary. Tony Sanya, Citizen Live at 9.